The Long Haul Podcast, America's Irish Voice. Interviews with inspiring immigrants, renowned Irish personalities, and discussions on all things Irish America. So I'm here with Paddy Curtis and Dan Burke after uh, Rangers won the Junior B uh, County Final. A thrilling game, lads. Uh, how do you feel after it? Unbelievable. Just massive relief. Massive relief. It was Unbelievable. brilliant. I love the feeling of winning chip. And many more, too. Many more. So tell me, Paddy, yourself, where are you from? I'm from County Mead. Um, Central Town will be my home club in Mead. And how long are you out here? I'll be here in close to 10 years now. And how long are you training the lads? Um, probably in the last two years, so we maybe the last four years with the club, last two years with, with these boys here. Um, would have had them from Fela right up to where we are now. Okay. And tell me about the, the team itself. You're all American born, aren't you? Yes, sir. We're Dutchess County, upstate. From upstate? Yeah. All right. And where, so where is the, the, tell me about the Rangers club. Where are the lads? Based here in the Bronx. Would have been originally set up. Um, based in the Bronx. Based here in the Bronx. Um, like you say, all the kids are more or less from here. We have Danny and we have Tommy Kelly who would be coming from Dutchess County area. They travel up and down to play with us. Um, Danny obviously was captain this year. Fantastic captain. Um, just a great bunch of lads and it, it, they're coming through the system of the club so it's, it's brilliant, you know. Tell me, where, where do you train? Where, do you, where does all the training happen? Training mostly is in, unfortunately for us, we have only Van Cortland Park, but we still, we have, we bought goals and we have goals over there and we do the best we can. Then we get lucky enough to get in here as often as we can whenever it's free. So yeah, so that's where we train mostly is over across the road. And so like, is it like, it's the under 20s as well, How, who's training with you every week? So yeah, so we have, basically the team you see tonight is more or less the 17s, the 20s and then this obviously team here together. So it's good because it's bringing on the younger lads, playing with the older lads, but saying old, I think the oldest player on the field is 24 or 5, you know, so it's, it's a young team. Yeah, all American, it's, it's fascinating and, and same with the Shannon Gales lads, so you've, you've played them before. Yeah. Tough games every time we played them. In the regular season, we blew them out, but today they came to play. Came to play. It was a great game. Did you, it was one of the most exciting games I've seen up here. But I already heard the other twenty, other twenty-one game was just as exciting. Yeah, it was. On the twenty-one game was just as exciting. We were being beat by eleven points with eight minutes to go. We came back and we ended up winning by two. So like, we don't do things easy. I was struck in the game. Uh, Joey Grace is after slotting over like five five scores from from dead ball. I I that's it. It was a class act. And Miguel get up in the corner yeah, for yeah, Shane Miguel get his, his brother in the other corner. It was just but it was an all round team performance. There was some great interceptions there back in the back lane. How do you feel after it? Oh my God! Fucking! I had a nice block in the 14s too. Would probably save the game too. They hit it. Had a goal. And what's the what's the plan now for the club ahead? What what, what are you building here? Is it just what's the long term? Long term is to get senior with this group of players and win a senior championship. I think that's that's the you have to have some goals, and I think that's the goals we're going to have. And it's junior A now next year. Next year and we'll, we'll take it one step at a time, and we'll we'll continue. Obviously, we'll we'll bring in another junior B team, and we'll move up junior A, and um, we'll see what happens. Are we train like when did you start training this year? I know the under twenty one, the under twenties are training. Pre season back in the gym, probably um, end of end of January, start of February. Um, we were there for two months. Um, it was it was good, tough training to just knock the cobwebs off, and then we got out onto the field before the league started. And then, as a group between the under 17s, the under 21s, and this squad here, we we managed just we won three championships and lost one game along the road. Danny, tell me about yourself. Where are your parents from? My parents are from Offaly, Offaly, and uh, that's really it, Offaly. Both from Offaly. Yeah. And you've been playing football your whole life, I presume. Yeah, I've been playing since I was like eight, seven. But I actually started off West Pe uh, West Put, off in uh, West Brewster. Satanta. Yeah, West Put Satanta. And how old are you? It's twenty-one. Twenty-one. And you still have it? Just do you, are you, are you the football? Tell me what it means to you playing football and representing your club. Especially the Rangers. I love playing for them. We always young lads always fucking fight just to win. And senior, we're looking bright. Senior football, we're looking bright. And uh, I've, I've talked to the Barons with lads, it is hard for Americans to kind of stick together when they hit, hit your age group, like don't they, it's with, with other, like your fierce athletes. go to college or some lads don't live around the field, so it's hard to get to the games. And what, what kind of training did you do then when you got into after pre-season, were you twice a week or how does it work? Twice a week, any chance we got, we went three times a week. Um, we set our goals, we try and get us to a final in each of the grades, we done that. We. Um, we just, just they're a great bunch of lads. Anything you done or asked, there was no problems. They were there. They were always out. Um, no, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant to get over the line. It's just. 
Who are some of the f people in the background there with the, with the club? We have um, Dennis Toomey, I'd say only from the club, probably wouldn't still be here. He's fantastic. Geraldine Doheny, Paddy Mulville. Um, and then I was lucky enough to have John Ryan with me. And um, you have Jerry Lone there also. You have great people within the club that keep the club going. And they're doing all the behind the scenes stuff, bringing the water, bringing the sandwiches. It's, it's, it's a whole effort. It's not just one person. It, you need a lot of people to turn the cog. And so the plan for the next couple of years is to hit senior. Are you, it's, are you going to have any problems sticking together? No, we shouldn't have no problems at all. We're we're team that yeah, tight of us. We're all good friends. We love playing football. I'm struck from a Cork man coming over here for the last couple of years and look at the New York fo the senior team. But like it's more about like tonight and the other nights are near, nearly almost more about not even about the clubs, but it's like the future of New York football. It looks like it's in it's in good hands. I think if you look at the the talent of the kids here, um, I was fortunate enough to be over the Fela team in 2017 when they won a Division One title, which was the first time New York had ever won a Division One. Um, we brought a 16s team home two years ago that played a Mead under 16 team. And that made on the 16th. They beat us by five points that day in Avon. That team went on to win the All Ireland this year, the minor All Ireland. So we're not a million miles away. You know, when you look at where we're competing at, um, Sean Price from Shannon Gales does Trojan work as well. He got the 16s program up and running with county level. Um, he brought us home to Kerry for training camps. And oh, the exposure that they can get is, is brilliant. And it's, it's just brilliant to see this, the talent that's coming through all American. And that's what it's all about. For the latest New York GAA match reports and other Irish American sports news, check out the longhaulpodcast.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter at the Long Hall Podcast.